what's up guys welcome to Svalbard beautiful arctic oasis i am here on a sailing expedition we're about to go to the harbor and board the ship to begin my time here i wanted to share with you a little bit of an arctic love story how i fell in love with these cold places and turn what was once just a passion for these cold remote places into a sustainable hopefully lifelong career of photography briefings on board and within the first two hours of us leaving the harbour we've already seen a polar bear. The bear that we've seen over on the shoreline is just on an endless stroll in one direction actually insane how much ground they can cover just by simply walking I think it's around two miles an hour but it just feels very far when you're just seeing them walking for several hours like they are the bear that we've seen is quite skinny It'll be two out of five on the skinniness scale for me my first journey of the Arctic obsession was going to Iceland in the winter time alone. I rented a car and I drove around the whole country. I had never driven in snow before and I think the fact that I had this intense experience in nature where I was you know quite stressed and anxious driving the car, I saw a glacier for the first time, I saw high mountains for the first time, I feel like it created some connection to these cold places simply through that experience that drew me back and it drew me back time and time again for me it is the tranquility of the arctic the stillness contrasted against the insane storms and unpredictable weather that often comes out here. That balance, or lack of balance, really keeps it interesting and I think that's what has drawn me in for all these years. I'm now eight years on in my journey. We're arriving into our first evening and our first anchorage for the trip here in Skanspukta. It is an amazing little side fjord. We are kind of on the other side of the mountains from Pyramid. Here's the gear set up for the trip. Got the 100 to 500 from Canon the Ronin 4D of course, two times extenders down there, and then the 500 f4 from Sigma, rocking the R5 and this camera the R5C. If I think back to when my connection to the cold climates began, I think to my first heli flight over the highlands of Iceland in the winter. I think I had a 5D Mark II at the time, and I captured this image of Landmannalaugar where the landscape was void of colour. All you could see was the contours of the mountains and one river snaking through. And I remember just being so in awe of the beauty of winter. I've never been able to repeat that image. Something about it, no matter if I go back with a drone or in a helicopter, there are moments with photography that are just once in a lifetime. That moment and that image really impacted me and 
It helped me to discover what my style in photography is and helped me to realize that if I focus on these cold places, focus on these places that I have the most passion to document and just to be in, to, to experience them in person, perhaps it could become a career. My first job in Iceland was a housekeeper. I was making beds at my favorite hostel, Kex Hostel. And through that time, that was my way of paying my bills, paying the rent and being able to fund my studies at the university, which was how I got a visa to move to Iceland. At the time, photography was literally just a hobby, but I did feel this thing, this burning desire within me to really go and push for making this more than that, making this something that could bring in income and help me to sustain my passion for being in these cold places. It took about six months for that to start to work for me. Through building up my Instagram at the same time, it was a way for me to showcase the work that I like to do and what it is that I actually like to shoot when I'm out in Iceland traveling and in places like this. And a few brands took notice enough so that I was able to transition out of the housekeeping job and start to pay my bills through shoots. It took a long time to bridge the period from just paying my bills to actually earning proper money and really being able to commit, but it was literally just hard work. It was just endless repeating of the same patterns, pitching to new clients and doing everything in my power to deliver the best work I could to the clients that I had. And luckily for me, the thing that I like to repeat is also my favorite thing in the world, being out in the cold. I've told this story quite a few times, but I think what is an entirely new chapter is that I'm about to become a father. Me and Ades have a baby girl on the way. What I've been trying to sculpt my life into in the last few months is how I can sustain this passion for the Arctic long term. How do I keep coming back every year? And for me, it is guiding, being able to show this place to new people, to travelers that are coming here with a, their own passion for photography or the Arctic, and being able to assist them with their photography. And that is the trip that I'm doing right now. Was just doing a little final spiel and I saw an Arctic fox running along the horizon. Check out these photos. We just never know what wildlife is coming out here. We have seen a polar bear earlier in the day and I mean, there's a chance that that bear is gonna walk around here. We don't know, but it is very hard because we're in 24 hours of light right now. And it's almost midnight, if you could believe it. Like I'm at F7.1 trying to darken the image as much as possible because it's so bright. To wrap up my thoughts so far, I'm saying all these things about my story because I truly believe that you guys out there can make it happen for yourselves as well. If you have a passion for photography and you wanna make it a career, you have to find an avenue or something that you feel like you can do time and time again and still love it. And if you can find that and showcase that to the world, showcase your love for that subject or that landscape or experience that you're capturing, people will get interested and they will come to you to take those shots. It worked for me and I'm so sure that you can do it too.